Hello and welcome to day four of the Tokyo 2020 Paralympics. It is day four of the wheelchair basketball competition and we are here now in the beautiful Ariaka Arena with Group A of the Women's Wheelchair Basketball Tournament. Australia versus Great Britain about to get underway. Both teams having a rough start to Tokyo 2020 and are looking to come away from this game with their first win of the tournament. Great Britain ending their pool play here today with their final game against Australia. Australia does not have one, does have one game of pool play left facing off against Canada in day five. And now let's get ready to start and meet the teams. We will begin with Great Britain. A team with quite a few returning Paralympians. Helen Freeman at her fourth Paralympic Games, as well as Williams, Hamer, and Conroy at their third. Great Britain will be started off with number four, Charlotte Moore. Followed by number five, Sophie Carrigill. Number six, Michaela Bell. Number seven, there that she is, the four-time Paralympian, Helen Freeman. Number eight, Lori Williams. Number nine, Judith Hammer. Number 10, co-captain Amy Conroy. Number 11, and assistant coach Madeline Thompson. Number 12, Lucy Robinson. Number 13, Siobhan Fitzpatrick. Number 14, Joy Hazelden. And number 15, also celebrating her birthday today, Robin Love. Coached by Simon Fisher. And now for the Australian team, we are going to start off with number four, Sarah Vinci. Followed by number five, Jess Kronia. Number six, Hannah Dodd. Number seven, Shelly Cronow. As well as number eight, Georgia Monroe Cook, a captain of this team. Followed by number 10, Brie Melberg. Number 13, Taysha Ovens. Number 14, Ella Sabeljack. Number 15, Amber Merritt. Number 21, Mary Friday. Number 22, Isabel Martin. And number 23, Natalie Alexander. Head coach, Craig Friday. You may have seen him before. He is also the head coach of the Australian men's national team that is here at Tokyo. And now for the national anthem of Great Britain. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem is all Great Britain. And now the national anthem of Australia.
Great Britain, although not quite able to find their rhythm here yet in the tournament, are a team with great chemistry, with only one new addition to their roster since their silver medal finish at the 2018 World Championships. Australia, Australia missing out on the 2016 Rio Paralympics by falling short of a qualification slot. Their roster is filled with many first-time Paralympians here. However, number four and number 15, Vinci and Merritt, are returning to their second Paralympic Games. Here we see the referees for the game. Matthias Quintana, supported by Eric Etzelmüller from Germany and Georg Tamazian from Iran, with Commissioner Dirk Kosar from Belgium. Some key players to look out for here for Australia will be number 15, Amber Merritt. She is averaging 22 and a half points per game, 14 rebounds, as well as five assists. On the British side, number seven, Helen Freeman, four-time Paralympian, averaging seven points per game six rebounds and six assists. GB really doing a great job with ball rotation on their offense, have just been lacking a little bit in execution. Many of their players averaging five points per game. However, the shooting percentage as a team needs to be a little higher as they continue on in this tournament. Here we see starting lineup for GB. Number four, Charlotte Moore. Number seven, Helen Freeman. Number 10, Amy Conroy. And number 14, Joy Hazelden. Head coach Simon Fisher, a relatively new head coach to this squad. He will be assisted by player and assistant coach Maddie Thompson, number 11. She was in London 2012, missed out on 2016, back here in 2020. And the Australian starting five will be number six, Hannah Dodd, number seven, Shelly Coronau, number eight, Georgia Monroe Cook, number 14, Ella Sablejack, and number 15, Amber Merritt. Head coach. Craig Friday, also the head coach of the men's Australian wheelchair basketball team here at Tokyo 2020 Paralympics. Both teams here searching for their first win of this tournament. This will be the final pool play game for GB. Australia does face off next against Canada, a very strong Canadian team. They just had a two point loss in the end of the game to Germany earlier here on day four. And here we see the players taking the court. Five seconds to go. Here at the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games, day four of the women's wheelchair basketball competition. Group A, Australia versus GB. Great Britain coming away with the tip. Starting the game with their first offensive possession. Hazelden with the ball swings it to Freeman. Freeman in the middle. First two points of the game for Freeman. Merritt with the inbound searches for an outlet. Finds Sabeljack. Sabeljack to Monroe Cook. Monroe Cook drives down the middle. It will be called an offensive charge. On Australia, 
Number 15, Amber Merritt, her first personal foul. Great Britain trying to hold Monroe Cook back, wanting to have a numerical advantage on offense. They will temporarily have five against four. Lori Williams down low. Great finish with contact. Merritt with the inbound to Sebeljack. GB extending a full court pressure defense. However, Australia having no problem. Sabeljack in the middle, not able to get it to fall in. Both teams having great speed and well-matched speed. Conroy in the middle with a fadeaway, absorbs that contact from the defense, controls herself, gets a smooth shot up and in. Merritt in the middle. Difficult shot over Conroy. Gets it off, however, off the back rim. Williams driving to the right, swings to Hazelden. Hazelden finding Freeman. Merritt with a hand on the pass, intercepting the ball. Finds Crow now in the middle. Hand off to Monroe Cook. Shot clock running down, needs to get a shot off. It will be Crow now with the shot. Not able to get it to fall in, however, she gets her offensive rebound, puts it back up off the bottom of the backboard. Dodd with the offensive rebound. Merritt in the middle. Dodd again with the offensive rebound. 10 seconds on the shot clock. There is a 14 second reset for every offensive rebound. Monroe Cook from the right side elbow, getting the first two points on the board for Australia. Freeman from the right elbow decides not to take the shot. Hard defense by Cronow. Great pass down low to the right with a finish by Joy Hazelden, number 14. Dodd passing it up to Monroe Cook. Monroe Cook splitting through Freeman and Conroy. However, a foul is called before the shot goes off. It will be an inbound. For Australia, a new 14 seconds put onto the shot clock. Dodd finding Monroe Cook. Sabeljack with the offensive rebound, passes it out to Merritt. She's able to finish. Great Britain's going to have to start doing a better job boxing out allowing Australia, who has a slight height advantage, to have just too many offensive rebounds right now. Freeman up high. Seven seconds on the shot clock, finds Hazelden, who finds Williams, who finds the basket. Nice ball movement by Great Britain. Subaldrek bringing the ball up, crosses to the left. Looks for an outlet, finds Dodd. 10 seconds left on the shot clock, over to Merritt. Merritt with the mismatch on the left baseline. Sabeljack with the offensive rebound, but stolen by Helen Freeman. Hazelden pushing the ball up. Decides to slow it down, set up the offense. Williams takes the shot off, hits the back of the rim into the hands of Amber Merritt. Monroe Cook loses the ball, regathers it. However, turnover pass to Joy Hazelden. Freeman behind the screen. Pick coming from Joy Hazelden. Nice dip down pass from Freeman to Hazelden over to Williams. 
Not able to finish. Merritt bringing the ball up the court. Cronau with the pick. Not quite able to run the pick and roll with Merritt. Monroe Cook with two seconds on the shot clock takes the shot, not getting it to roll in. Freeman with the rebound. Three on two opportunity, four on two opportunity for Great Britain. Hazelden from the right side, and she sinks it. Four points for Joy Hazelden. Australia able to get the ball over half without the eight second violation, doing a good job with the press break. Dodd from the left elbow. Beautiful arc banked in. Two points on the board for Dodd. Williams finding Hazelden. Hazelden popping it out to Moore. Williams in the middle, also banking it in from the middle. Great Britain doing a great job with their ball movement on the offensive side right now. Sable direct to Dodd. To Monroe Cook. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Shot goes up by Amber Merritt. Nice arc, oh, but, just, but just a little too short off the front of the rim. Freeman driving left low on the baseline. Draws a foul, foul will be called on number six, Dodd, her first personal foul. Freeman will be sent to the free throw line for two free throw attempts. A timeout has been called by Australia. They do look like they have substitutions checked into the table. Let's see if that happens coming out of this timeout. We will resume play after the timeout with Helen Freeman at the free throw line for two shots. And there we have it. A little bit into the game plan of Australia, currently wanting to make sure they shut Helen Freeman down. She is a veteran of this team. Not only is she a great outside shooter, but she is also a slasher. She's someone that will get into the key and make some really difficult layup finishes. Freeman having two free throws. The first one is going in. Second one as well. Australia inbound. They did have substitutions coming in out of that timeout. Number 21, Mary Friday is now on the court. Number 14, Ella Sebeljek coming off. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Monroe Cook off the front of the rim. Freeman with the rebound. Freeman with a law pass to War Williams. She's able to control the catch, however, not get the shot off. Crow now recovering quickly onto defense. However, great ball movement by GB. Hazelden with the shot from the left elbow. Picked up by Monroe Cook. Quick outlet pass to Merritt.
Merritt going all the way down and deep under the basket. However, not able to finish. Rebound by Moore. Merritt getting a hand on the ball. It will be called a jump ball. Possession arrow will result in Australia maintaining possession. Fourteen seconds. We're given on the shot clock. Now with eight remaining. Australia needing to find an outlet or a little bit of movement. Monroe Cook spins, takes the shot off the back of the rim. Hazelden with the rebound, stops the play so Helen Freeman can be uprighted. Smart move by Hazelden. This allows GB time to set up their offense with five players. Instead of running a four on five disadvantage, five players on defense and only four players on offense. Hazelden finding Conroy, however, the pass just a little too flat and low. Merritt being able to tip it out of bounds. There are more substitutions now for Australia coming in. Number 10, Bree Melberg checking in. Williams with the inbound, finds Hazelden on the drive. Hazelden not being able to shoot quite strong enough through that contact, hits the bottom of the rim and into the hands of Merritt. Merritt finding the baseline and the shot, draws the foul from Moore. She will be sent to the free throw line for two attempts. That is Charlotte Moore's first personal foul, team's second foul. Merritt not able to connect the first one. Second one looks like it could roll in, but it isn't. And it ends up in the hands of Helen Freeman, who's quick in transition, dips it down to Amy Conroy on the left side baseline. That will be a foul on number 14, Joy Hazelden of Great Britain, that will be her first personal foul. A new 14 seconds will be given to Australia on the shot clock, inbound baseline, finding Merritt down low, Williams with the rebound. Conroy. Absorbing the contact, coming out, totally composed. Great follow through on her shots. Two more points for Conroy. Merritt controlling the ball as she comes down, looks for an outlet, a low pass. Looked like it went off the chair of Williams, however, hit Williams' chair and then bounced off of Cronow's chair. Unlucky, and it will be an inbound baseline for GB. Substitutions coming in for Australia. Number four, Sarah Vinci coming onto the court. Troy Hazelden on the right side, baseline. Vinci right away with a rebound. Conroy doing a great job getting hands on the ball and not ending up fouling. It will be a jump ball possession arrow for GB. Williams to Freeman. Freeman in the middle. Monroe Cook. 
holds the ball out to her right. Conroy comes from behind, gets a hand on it, however, tips it out of bound, isn't able to control to fully have a steal. However, it will leave us with one and a half seconds to go in the first quarter. Monroe Cook doing a great job controlling the ball there, ending the first quarter. 22-6 for Great Britain. Great Britain establishing an early lead here against Australia. Great Britain shooting as a team, 60%. Lori Williams and Amy Conroy both having six. Freeman and Hazelden with four each. And on the Australian side, only shooting 19% currently. They're going to have to increase this amount if they want to keep that gap with Great Britain close and even start closing it. Merritt having two points, Monroe Cook having two points, and Dodd having two points. Both of these teams having a little bit of a rough start here at the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. They're both currently searching for their first win. This is the last pool play for Great Britain. Australia will face off against Canada next to finish off their pool play. Pool play is important to these teams because only the top four will move on to the crossover rounds, quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals. The bottom team of pool play will play for a respective placement at the games. However, will no longer be in medal contention. And here we go to start off the second quarter. Cronow with the inbound to Dodd. Cronow searching for an outlet. Hand off to Monroe Cook. Brings it to the left side. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Power side offense, however, they cross one more time. Merritt in the middle with a mismatch over Hazelden. Swings it to Cronow, tries to bank it in. However, ends up in the hands of Helen Freeman with a defensive rebound. Freeman to Hazelden. Hazelden controlling it, swinging it back over to Williams. Williams with the drive over to Freeman. Freeman finding the basket. Two more points for Freeman. GB doing a great job with their hard pressure. Ends up with the steal from Lori Williams. Quick outlet pass to Hazelden. Williams from the right elbow puts the shot up. A little flat, hits the back rim. However, Hazelden coming away with the offensive rebound. Drives into the right side. Runs into the bigs of Australia. Monroe Cook and Merritt ends up smothered. It's a loose ball between Conroy and Merritt, and the possession arrow is in favor of Great Britain. It will be a Great Britain inbound. Number five, Jess Cronia coming onto the court for the first time. Helen Freeman for three off the back of the rim. Cronow with the rebound. Thrown now to Monroe Cook. Monroe Cook looks for her shot, draws the foul. The foul will be on number four, Charlotte Moore. Her second personal foul. Monroe Cook will be sent to the free throw line for two additional shots. Yeah. 
And the first one is good. Second one as well, Monroe Cook, 27 years old at her first Paralympic Games. Williams to Freeman. Freeman finding Williams down low, left-handed finish with contact, great control and strength by Williams. Friday maintaining control of the ball, however, lots of contact. 10 seconds to go on the shot clock for Australia. Kronia to Kronau to Munro Cook. It ends up just short shot clock violation. However, not before GB is able to recover the defensive rebounds. Freeman finding Conroy. Conroy getting the roll. Ball falling through. Two more points for Amy Conroy. Miscommunicated pass by Australia ends up in the hands of Helen Freeman. And Joy Hazelden for two quick points. Great Britain breaking away with a 20 point lead here in the second quarter with seven minutes and 12 seconds left. Timeout is called by Australia. It will be their last timeout that they can use here in the first quarter. Coach Friday will receive more timeouts in the second half. See the leading scores. Monroe Cook, number eight of Australia, currently with four points. Williams and Conroy tied each with eight points. And there we can see also player and assistant coach Maddie Thompson, number 11, helping out head coach. She has a great perspective of the game. Great Britain is looking to make program history here. They have yet to bring home a Paralympic medal from their women's wheelchair basketball team. We now have substitutions on the court for both teams as well. Seeing number 22, Izzy Martin for the first time this game, as well as number five, Sophie Carrigill, and number 15, Robin Love. Difficult end of shot clock shot by Melberg. Friday in the middle, defending Freeman. Freeman swinging to Hazelden. Martin with the rebound. Izzy Martin, one of the youngsters of this Australian team, only 22 years old. Merritt down low, great control. Finishes it strong. However, is now backpicked by Great Britain. Great Britain looking to have a five on four advantage on offense. Love cutting low baseline, gets her own offensive rebound, kicks it back out to Carrigill who finds Freeman, also misses to the mark a little left. Melberg needing to get the outlet. However, into the hands of Lori Williams was not the idea. Two more quick points in transition for Hazelden. 
GB causing a little bit of chaos here with their full court press. Australia does only have eight seconds to get the ball over half court. Sophie Carrigill getting a hand on that, tipping it out of bounds. Merritt coming in with full speed, losing a little bit of control of her chair. Ends up having the ball just in the range of Carrigill. Substitutions coming in for Great Britain. Number 11, Maddie Thompson on the court, as well as number eight, Monroe Cook, back on the court. Lori Williams looking for a fast break. However, Cronow recovers, finds Thompson on the right side, who's able to find the basket in her first two points of this game. Martin, heavily pressured by Carrigill. The ball pops loose. However, Monroe Cook is able to gain control. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Friday down low on the left side. Great finish by Friday. Getting her first two points on the scoreboard. Thompson on the right side. Off to the rim, however, had great art just falling a little short. Carrigill recovering back onto defense. However, Monroe Cook low on the left baseline. The pass a little bit too far to her right and, and Love able to get a hand on it. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Monroe Cook, it looked a little flat. However, in is in. Two more points on the scoreboard for Monroe Cook. Williams finding Thompson. And Thompson with the high arced layup from the right side. Australia not being able to close this 20 point gap that GB created early on. Friday looking for an outlet, finds Monroe Cook. 10 seconds left on a shot clock. It's going to be a difficult outside shot. Three seconds, Merritt lines it up and sinks it in. Merritt using her height advantage, able to shoot over Carrigill and Williams. Carrigill down low on the right side, not able to execute. However, the ball pops loose. Carrigill not able to collect it. It will remain Australia ball. Merritt to Cronel. Hand off to Monroe Cook. Over to Merritt, 10 seconds left. A little hard to the left of the backboard. Williams collecting the defensive rebound. Williams finding Thompson. Thompson to Love on the left side. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Great ball movement by GB. Thompson with the shot at the end. Merritt finding Monroe Cook. Monroe Cook fighting through the contact, not able to get a shot off just high enough. Carrigill down the middle, ends up in the chair of Cronow. However, Thompson collects it and shoots two more points for Thompson. Thompson with the steal, outlet pass intended for Izzy Martin. However, Thompson using her speed, capitalizing on it, intercepting the pass, left side layup from Lori Williams. Australia doing a good job breaking the press of GB. Difficult outlet pass to Friday, heavily contested by Love. A three second violation will be called on Australia. Yeah. 
Substitutions coming in for both teams. Number four, Vinci, and number six, Dodd, coming back to the court, as well as number seven, Freeman, and number 10, Conroy. Inbound baseline for Great Britain. Williams finding Hazelden. Hazelden not getting the ball to be able to drop. However, Australia quick to pick up the defensive rebounds. Merritt controlling the ball and the tempo coming down on the offensive side. Great pick by Cronow. Thrown out, rolling in, swings it over to the right to Monroe Cook, and she sinks it. Two more points by Monroe Cook. Currently, Australia's top scorer with eight. Conroy cutting baseline, however, not able to get the pass off quite yet. Heavily contested by the defense. Freeman driving off the contact, swinging the ball to Carrigal in the middle, over to Williams. Williams nailing left side elbow. Dodd searching for an outlet. A foul has been called on number seven, Helen Freeman. Her first personal foul, team second. Dodd inside, however, Conroy able to get a hand on it. Tips it out, however, Dodd was the last one to touch it. Will be Great Britain's ball. However, they have called a timeout. Timeout by Great Britain. They will have possession of the ball returning back to the court. Australia coming into this game shooting 41% as a team. However, currently in this game, they're not quite able to find their stride and find their rhythm. Only shooting 29% as a team, eight of 28, led by number eight, Georgia Monroe Cook with eight points. Amber Merritt contributing six. And for the British side, coming into this game, they were shooting only 43% as a team. Currently they are shooting 56. They're starting to find their rhythm and find their flow. Led by number eight, Lori Williams, with 12 points. Number 14, Joy Hazelden with eight, as well as Amy Conroy contributing eight points. Freeman and Thompson both with six. Both teams searching for their first win of this tournament. It is the last game of pool play for Great Britain. Australia will face off against Canada on day five. Freeman with the inbound to Carrigill. Great pick in the middle by Conroy. Freeman swings the ball to Williams. Conroy with the offensive rebound. Shot clock expires. Game clock expires. That will send us into halftime. Great Britain starting off with a 14 point lead in the first quarter and then increasing that by eight points in the second quarter, creating that 40 to 18 final score that we see here right now heading into halftime. Number eight, Lori Williams currently leading Great Britain with 12 points. Hazelden and Conroy both contributing eight. And on the Australian side, Monroe Cook 
contributing eight points as well as Merritt with six. And here we can see some game statistics. Australia currently shooting only 8 of 28, 29%. GB slightly higher, 19 of 36 with 53%, bumping up their tournament percentage so far. Great Britain with 18 assists, showing fantastic ball movement. Great teamwork by Great Britain. Australia with 18 rebounds. However, 10 turnovers for the Australian team, allowing Great Britain to really capitalize on that, having many of their points coming from these turnovers, taking full advantage. That's gonna lead us into halftime. Australia versus Great Britain, 42-18 for Great Britain.
Hello and welcome to day four of the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games here in Ariaka Arena. Currently Group A of the Women's Wheelchair Basketball Tournament, Australia versus Great Britain. Great Britain ending up with a very big lead, 40 to 18 right off the bat, 22 points. Heading into halftime, we are now Coming back for the second half, it will be Australia ball. Australia currently only shooting 29% as a team. Number eight, Georgia Monroe Cook with eight points, followed by number 15, Amber Merritt with six. And on the British side, currently shooting 53% as a team. Lori Williams leading the way, number eight with 12 points followed by Hazelden and Conroy, both having eight points each. Seeing for the first time in the game, number 13, Tasha Ovens for Australia. Merritt from the left side, elbow, bounces around. However, she gets the shooter's roll and it falls in. Hazelden bringing the ball up the court for Great Britain. Williams drives in, swings it out, pops it over to Moore. Moore puts it up and in. Two points on the scoreboard now for, for Charlotte Moore. We see that high defensive pressure again by Great Britain. However, the press break of Australia doing a good job of breaking it. However, that pass just not able to connect. Ends up in and out of the hands of Amber Merritt. Conroy goes down in congestion. No foul called. The play is just stopped so she could be uprighted. Dodd extending defensive pressure on Williams up high. Conroy looking for the shot. However, Merritt comes in hard and from behind goes for the block. However, has the contact. The foul is on the ground, not on the shot. However, that will be a foul on number 15, Merritt. Her second personal foul, first team foul. Great Britain with the inbound. Williams lines it up and sinks it in. Two more points for Wi Williams. Merritt needing an outlet, finds Monroe Cook. Monroe Cook looking for the mismatch. Over Moore, bounces around again and just falls right in. Freeman finding Conroy. Conroy controlling it after having a little bit of contact on that roll. Puts it up and in. Press by Great Britain. Australia not able to get the ball over half successfully. It is off the fingertips of Monroe Cook, number eight, who we see here. It will be inbound for Freeman, number seven. Freeman to Conroy. Conroy off the back of the rim. Merritt with the rebound. Dodd looking for an outlet. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Finds Monroe Cook, six seconds left. Contested shot by Freeman. Ends up short and out of bounds, inbound for Great Britain. Conroy with the fade away from the right side. A foul has been called. The 
foul will be on number eight, Georgia Monroe Cook, her first personal foul. And it is good for Conroy. Capitalizing on a three-point play opportunity. Dodd finding Merritt. Merritt for three. Off the front of the rim, into the hands of Helen Rebound. Freeman pushing the tempo. Great cross by Williams. Williams in the middle. Dodd getting a hand on of it. Freeman recovering, outlet to Conroy, and Conroy finishing it without hesitation. Ovens with the outlet. Over to Melberg. Sorry, Kronia. Dodd to Merritt. Kronia with the offensive rebound. Hard and flat off the rim, not able to finish it. Williams to Conroy. Conroy not able to control the catch off of her fingertips and out of bounds. Great Britain, quick to put that full court press back in, making it a difficult inbound for Merritt. Dodd getting the ball over half. Nice handoff from Dodd to Merritt. 10 seconds on the shot clock. A pick in the middle from Dodd, opens it up for Merritt. Merritt for the mismatch over Hazelden. Into the hands of Helen Freeman on the defensive rebound. Great cross pick by Moore to open it up for Freeman. However, she decides to swing it out to the right. Miscommunication on the pass from Williams to Conroy ends up going out of bounds. Substitutions coming in for Australia. Number 14, Ella Savilljack coming on the court, as well as number 10, Brie Melberg. Melberg across half court. Freeman keeping Merritt out in the backcourt right now. They'll have to run a four on four. Monroe Cook from the right elbow. Finishes it over Jude Hamer. Jude Hamer, number nine of Great Britain coming into the game for the first time. Freeman finding Hamer. Hamer puts the shot up, not getting it to be able to fall. Nice offense or defensive rebound by Dodd. Merritt to Dodd, pops out of her hands. Freeman lets it roll out of bounds. It will be Great Britain ball inbound at the sideline. Freeman from the middle, off the back of the rim. Dodd with the defensive rebounds. Dodd to Mineral Cook. Mineral Cook drives into the middle, has the mismatch shot over Williams, however, not getting it to be able to fall in. Hazelden finding Hamer. Hamer finding the basket. 
The first two points of the game for Judith Hamer. Hamer getting a hand on the ball. However, Monroe Cook able to control it. That will be a foul on Jude Haber, number nine. Substitutions for Great Britain. Number five, Sophie Carrigal returning back to the court. Number four, Charlotte Moore coming off. The game has been paused to correct the shot clock. There will now be 16 seconds on the shot clock. It had been reset and there was supposed to be no reset. Merritt finding Monroe Cook. Monroe Cook finding the basket and will have an extra shot attempt from the free throw line drawing the foul. Foul was on number eight, Lori Williams. Her second personal foul. Sorry, correction, her first personal foul. And now timeout for Australia. When they return back to the court, Monroe Cook will have her additional shot attempt the possibility of having a three-point play. Monroe Cook currently leading the Australian scoring by 14 points. Amber Merritt, second highest score with eight. Australia able to bring up their shooting percentage just a little bit higher here in the third quarter. Currently shooting 32% as a team. However, Great Britain increasing their lead so far in this third quarter with a 13 to eight advantage. Free throw bounces out. Freeman looking for Williams on the fast break. Williams able to recover the ball, decides not to put the shot up, finds Hazelden on the left side. She makes the ball to basket connection. Great composure by Joy Hazelden. At only 22 years old, she's an absolute critical component of this British team. Mary Friday down low, buried under the basket, a difficult shot, not able to get it up quite high enough. Williams running a two on one again with Hazelden. Hazelden absorbing the contact from Monroe Cook, gets the shot off and in. Turnover on the inbound from Australia. Williams able to pick it up, dips it over to Freeman. Freeman looks to drive baseline. However, Monroe Cook creates contact, has a foul called. Her second personal foul. Team's third foul. Freeman to Williams. Back to Freeman. 10 seconds left on the shot clock and a traveling violation has been called. 
in wheelchair basketball. It is very similar to the counterpart of stand-up basketball. We do have a traveling violation. A player is only allowed to push their wheelchair twice, whether that be two times forwards, one forwards, one backwards, only twice before needing to pass, dribble, or shoot. Amber Merritt was down in the backcourt. Australia deciding to stop their offensive possession to have her get up and join them. Monroe Cook looks and lines it up from the middle. Not able to get the roll and it pops off of the rim. Hazelden finding Freeman, finding Williams, and Williams finding the basket. Lori Williams now with 16 points. Tokyo is her third Paralympic Games. Australia needing to get the ball over half court. And an eight second violation has been called. Amber Merritt, unfortunately, at the half court line, but not far enough over. Number 10 for Australia, Bree Melberg coming off the court. Shelly Cronow coming back on. Shelly Cronow playing overseas professionally in Spain. Hazelden finds Freeman. Freeman finds Carrigill. Carrigill to Williams, and that will be a shot clock violation. 18 does only have 24 seconds to get a shot off. If they are unable to do so, it is a turnover. Inbound sideline for Australia. Sabaljack to Monroe Cook. Over to Merritt. Merritt finishing totally composed. Freeman came flying in behind her. However, she was unfazed. Quickly backpicked by Great Britain. Great Britain looking to try and run a numerical advantage on offense. However, Mary Friday able to get a tip on the ball as Williams comes past her. The ball goes out of bounds and it will be Australia ball from the baseline. Williams having the last touch. Merritt to Monroe Cook, to Sabaljack. Cronow, the outlet that's over half court. Long pass to Merritt, however, buried deep under the basket, not able to get it with the right arc to fall in. Freeman looking to have the fast break opportunity, found Hamer on the right, and Hamer isn't able to find the basket. However, great offensive rebound by Hazelden. She does not give up on the play, able to get the two points in the end. Draws the foul. She will be sent to the free throw line for an additional shot attempt. Not able to get the free throw to fall in. Monroe Cook ends up with the rebound. Merritt with the shot from the middle, sinks it. 28 seconds left on the game clock. The shot clock just with a little bit less time. Williams coming in on the right side, able to go coast to coast for that layup. Australia looking to have the last offensive possession with 10 seconds left on the game clock. Merritt coming down, lines up a three. Looks good, doesn't go in. Freeman with the rebound, two seconds left on the game clock. And she decides to hold on to it. Sabaljack with contact falls to the ground. However, that will end third quarter for us. 
GB coming away with a win that third quarter, 23 to 12, creating that 63-30 score heading into the fourth quarter. Great Britain bopping up there. Field goal percentage with 59%. Lori Williams, number eight, currently leading them with 18 points. However, they do have three players within double digits now. Amy Conroy with 15 and Joy Hazelden with 14. And on the Australian side, they're able to raise their shooting percentage, but just slightly, only at 32%. Their two top scorers, number eight, Georgia Monroe Cook with 14 points, as well as number 15, Amber Merritt with 12. Unfortunately, Australia has done a really good job at the press break, however, not taking total care until the very end. They do have 15 turnovers as a team. Something that Great Britain has been able to use their speed and capitalize upon. And now we're gonna see some new faces coming onto the court for Great Britain. Number 12, Lucy Robinson. She is the newcomer to this roster. She's the only member of this 2020 team that was not at the 2018 World Championships. This is her first Paralympic debut and number 15, Robin Love returning back to the court as well as Thompson, Moore and Carrigill, number four and five, both down low right now. And we have number four, Vinci coming back onto the court, one of Australia's returning Paralympians. Thompson drives to the left. Heavily contested by Merritt, swings the ball over to Robin. Love, love to Moore. Friday with the hard defense over to Love. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Thompson puts the shot up and is able to have it fall in. Merritt to Monroe Cook. Cronow with the pick and drive. However, a difficult pass over the height of Love and Robinson. Miscommunication on the pass. It goes off the fingertips of Monroe Cook. It will be Great Britain inbounds from the sideline. More to Thompson. Thompson to Robinson. Robinson puts the shot up. Off the rim, great arc, just a little too short. Merritt coming up with the defensive rebound. Hard pressure defense by Thompson and Robinson. But Merritt is able to make the ball to net connection. Two more points for Amber Merritt. Thompson to Carrigill. Carrigill drives down low, dips the ball back to Robinson. Trying to find Robinson's first two points. Not able to do so with that shot. Monroe Cook bringing the ball down. Great pick by Friday. Friday drives. Monroe Cook with contact puts the shot up. Chair slightly turning. She gets it to fall in. Thompson drives low, swings the ball to Love. Love in the middle. It rolls around and falls in. First two points of the game for Robin Love, celebrating her birthday here as well at the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. Hard defense by Great Britain. However, Vinci left open after Thompson flies by and she capitalizes on the opportunity, drops the ball in 
two points for Vinci. Thompson finding more, more buried underneath with Monroe, Cook, and Merritt making it very dark. Great ball movement by Great Britain. Six seconds left on the shot clock. Love to Robinson. Robinson puts it up. Merritt able to contest it. However, the shot clock will expire. It will be Australia ball at the baseline. Cronow brings the ball up. Cronow to Merritt. Back to Cronow. Moore with the tip on the ball. Merritt picks it up. One second left on the shot clock. She gets it up. It doesn't fall in. Carrigill with the rebound. Is quick to bring the ball up the court. Carrigill to Moore. Moore finding Love. Love fighting through the contact and making the finish. Two more points for Robin Love. Krona searching for an outlet, finds Merritt on the left side. Merritt with a quick shot, able to get her offensive rebound. Krona over to Krona, yeah. Not able to maintain control of the pass. It goes out of bounds. It will be inbound for Great Britain. However, substitutions coming on to the court. Some new faces for this game as well. Number 13, Siobhan Fitzpatrick coming on as well as number six, Michaela Bell. Carrigill with the drive, dips it over to Robinson, just a little too far behind her. Thompson picks it up. 10 seconds left on the shot clock, swings it back over to Carrigill. Carrigill back to Thompson. Three seconds, Fitzpatrick with the shot, ends up falling short and into the hands of Merritt. Australia with a five on one advantage. Great seal by Shelly Cronow. However, Merritt and not able to make the layup, it will be called a jump ball. The possession arrow favors Australia. Australia will maintain possession. Great seal by Shelly Cronow. She set a pick on the defense, creating that wide open space for Merritt to drive in and have that layup opportunity. Unfortunately, not able to capitalize on it. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Monroe Cook off the front of the rim. Fitzpatrick with the rebound. Thompson with her speed. Brings the ball up. Looks for an outlet. Nobody was in. Australia quick to recover on defense. Shot goes up by Robinson. Falling short and popping over onto the other side. A double screen for Monroe Cook, but Thompson able to split the gap and get out. Lots of congestion, however, finding Vinci in the middle. Grown out with the offensive rebound. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Grown out from the right side baseline. The first two points for Grown out in this game. Thompson looking for an outlet, finds Carrigill. Carrigill dips it over to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick a little too soft of touch on her shot, ends up falling off the rim. Crow now behind the screen. Thompson splicing through, making it incredibly difficult. Hard pressure, Crow now from the left. Shot clock was running down. They needed to get a shot off. 
Thompson slowing down the pace of the British offense. Setting it up. Carrigill behind the screen of Bell. Back to Thompson. Over to Fitzpatrick. One second left on the shot clock. Off the rim and into the hands of Monroe Cook. Dodd with the pick on Bell. Rolls to the basket. Back to Monroe Cook. Great dish back. However, not able to capitalize on the layup. Carrigill passing to Robinson. Back to Carrigill. Over her head and behind. It goes out of bounds. It will be inbound sideline for Australia. And some more substitutions coming onto the court. New faces for Australia. We're seeing once again number 22, Izzy Martin, return back to the court. But number 23, Natalie Alexander, making her second time onto the court. And there we can see the leading scores for both teams. Number eight, Monroe Cook with 16, Lori Williams with 18, Merritt with 14, and Conroy with 15. Great Britain having three players scoring double dig digits. Number 14, Joy Hazelton with 14 points. Something that's incredibly noteworthy though is that Great Britain does have 29 assists right now. Great ball movement on the offensive side by Great Britain. Cronia, number five, also back on the court now for Australia. Alexander with the ball in the middle, swings it over to Dodd. Dodd puts the shot up. Arc looks good, however, just a little too strong. Pops off the right side. Inbound baseline, sideline for Great Britain. Carrigill over to Thompson. Thompson lines it up. Not able to get it in. Looks to try and slash for the offensive rebound, but Monroe, Monroe Cook controls the defensive rebound. Finds her way into the middle of the key. However, Robinson pops the ball up and out. Great hustle here by Kronia. Just not able to catch up to the ball. It will be inbound for Great Britain at the Australian baseline. Number 13, Ovens coming back onto the court. And Robinson finding her first two points of the game. Ovens back to Alexander. Back to Ovens, Ovens puts it up. Thompson with the rebound. Finds Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick back to Thompson. Thompson drives in, banks it off the court. Great control by Thompson on that shot. Alexander behind the screen. Finding Kronia. Back to Melberg. Melberg puts it up. Robinson with the rebound. Over to Thompson. Thompson 
decides not to take the shot through the contact, swings it to the other side to Robinson. Martin with the rebound to Melberg. Melberg brings the ball up. Bell extends her pressure, however, quickly recovers back. Ovens making the cut on the right baseline, but the ball swung to Alexander on the left. Over to Melberg, two seconds left on the shot clock. The shot clock does expire. However, the rebound will count. Fitzpatrick being stopped up high by Ovens. Robinson in the middle. Australia having a player down in the backcourt. Great Britain capitalizing on that five on four opportunity with two more points to the scoreboard. A timeout has been taken by Great Britain. Twelve point seven seconds left to go in the game. Group A of the women's wheelchair basketball round. Great Britain versus Australia. Both teams coming into this game without a win, having rough starts to this tournament. Great Britain with the lead right now, looking to come away with that win, securing at least the fourth place spot. This is their final game of pool play. Being able to advance into the quarterfinals. Australia will face up against Canada next in day five. Twelve point seven seconds left. Alexander brings the ball up. Five seconds. She looks to kill it. And that's going to be it for the game. End of the fourth quarter. Great Britain extending their lead, winning the quarter twelve to eight. Creating that score we see there on your screen, 75-38 win for Great Britain. Their first win of this tournament. It will secure a position for them to advance further on in this tournament to the quarterfinals. Australia fighting with everything they had, however, just not able to capitalize by only shooting 31% from the field. They do face up against Canada next on day five. Needing to have a big win against the strong Canadian team in order to continue on in this tournament. As you can see, a very happy and relieved great British team right now. And here we have our game statistics. 75, 38 for Great Britain, shooting 55% at the end of the game from the field. 18 turnovers by Australia, just too much. Great Britain able to use that as an opportunity for their fast break layups. As we saw, Hazelden being able to really get in there and finish those layups, ending up with 14 points at the end of the game. Thompson with 10, Conroy with 15, and Williams, the top scorer, with 18. Merritt and Monroe Cook, the only two scorers in double digits for Australia with 16 and 14. What a game until the end. This is the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. Group A of the Women's Wheelchair Basketball Tournament. Great Britain versus Australia, 75-38. Victory for Great Britain. Their first victory of this tournament after a rough start. They're looking to try and make history for their program. The women's wheelchair basketball team of Great Britain has not come home with a medal yet from the Paralympics. 
And here we can see that they are currently sitting in fourth place, looking to advance over into the quarterfinals, which will then begin the knockout round of this tournament phase. Great job here by both teams. Congratulations to Great Britain heading home tonight or to the village tonight with their first win of the tournament. Day four of the wheelchair basketball tournament here at the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. Great Britain versus Australia of Group A of the Women's Wheelchair Basketball Tournament. Great Britain coming away with a 75-38 point win, achieving their first win of the tournament, ending their pool play, hopefully heading into quarterfinals as it looks right now. Great Britain. Great Britain led with Williams with 18 points and Australia led with Monroe Cook with 16 points. Australia just not able to close the gap with 31 shooting percentage from the field and 18 turnovers. Great Britain really capitalizing on those moments, finishing hard in the key by Hazelden with 14. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games at the Arioca Arena.